Alrighty, everyone. It is currently the middle of July, so I figure we are overdue for a quick walk through the garden. I've kept the front planters here the same as previous years with the Vista Petunias. Still have the Pretoria Cannas. I really like the way they look, so I guess we're not going to change something that's not broke. For whatever reason, the one variety is not filling in like the other, so that be as it may, it still looks good. The Japanese beetles decided to set in a couple weeks ago, unfortunately. They were dealt with swiftly. <laughs> I did a quick spray on my plants, but these guys are ones that I started from cuttings and they're just a little bit smaller this year because they got planted later, but they are filling in nicely. We have my front planters. Everything is filling in so nicely this year. I'm really happy with the planters. We have a Rockapulco on patience in there, and those blooms get to be the size of half dollars, and they're just neon orange. Let's circle around here giving you kind of a sneak peek of what we're going to go over in just a little bit, but let's come to the front door. We have my banana plant. I just gave it a new pot. It's currently about 90 degrees, so something interesting with bananas is that their leaves kind of fold shut like that when it gets really hot to conserve water. So we have my little fig tree. And then we have the crown of thorns, and everybody just got new homes, so hopefully they're happy there. The other set of front planters I have, you can see just how huge these get. Like, that's my hand, and they almost look begonia-like, which is kind of exciting because begonias traditionally are a little bit fickle. This is another wax begonia here, and then we have an angel wing begonia. Both of them are doing fantastic things, of course. Let's circle around over here. We have some nice petunias going on here. The cone flowers just started, and they're looking great. Back here, I want to say this is Storm Shelter, Daylily. That's amazing coloring. Just the start of some flocks going on in here. It's a pretty blue. My hydrangeas are just kind of starting, not really showing color yet, but they will come too with time. My calla lilies are just starting to turn green because of the heat, but there's still a lot of beauty left there. I could start deadheading though, but who doesn't have some deadheading to do in their landscape? This is one of my favorite views of landscape. You're just kind of looking down and seeing all the color. The cosmos are just still kind of waiting to start their first bloom, but the Magellan Zinnias are doing great. Hopefully they bush out a little bit here in the next few weeks. I had my first slowly bloom of the season as well, so as you can imagine, my garden is smelling fantastic. I can also see my first nasturtium bloom in here, which is also exciting. My kind of signature petunia drift here is growing in nicely. And we also have a stargazer over here. So let's get a close-up of some of these daylilies. This was a freebie that I got from a flower catalog, and I don't remember the name. This is Stephanie Returns, and it is the most beautiful color of pink. And back here, this is, oh, yeah, there's some Japanese beetles doing their thing in there. Um, this is 
Raspberry something. I, I would have to look up the name. And then this is Storm Shelter by Proven Winners, which is my personal favorite because what's not to love about that color? We have some French marigolds down here. They're blooming nicely, but they're not quite filling out as nicely as I had hoped, but I guess we'll see what they do. Have a few fresher blooms on this Calloli batch over here. And then we're getting into the Hosta garden here. This is one of my personal favorites, First Frost, that keeps those blue leaves. The Impatients are doing their thing as well. Another favorite here is Blue Mouse Ears. Look at how tiny and really quite cute they are though. And then we have Pandora's Box, which is, well, about the size of two half dollars. The winter wasn't terribly kind to it, unfortunately. This is another personal favorite of mine. It's also a church mouse series, but I can't remember the name off the top of my head. And then we're kind of nearing the end here. So that's kind of the landscape as of right now. I do have one other pot over here. Everything is a little bit sad right now because of the heat, but um, this is Strawberry Lemonade Caliber Coa, or Super Caliber Coa, I want to say, the Proven Winter variety. Starts off yellow and then turns that delicious color of hot pink, but it's, it's kind of feeling the heat a little bit back here because this is getting all the sun right now, but anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the quick walkthrough and stay tuned for a few more.